हसरत है हमारी बाबा पर दो वो पूरी आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके Om Shanti, become free from problems, become an embodiment of solutions, and make others this also. The world mothers, the unlimited mothers. Just as in Lokic life, a mother makes her children strong by giving them sustenance which they are able to face any type of problems and always remain healthy and wealthy. In the same way, you elevated souls should become the world mothers 
the unlimited mothers and make others so strong that they experience themselves to be destroyers of obstacles, full of power and healthy and wealthy. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Welcome to Avikti Parivar. Today is day two. Become free from problems. Become an embodiment of solutions and make others this also. Today's topic, the world mothers, the unlimited mothers. Now we will listen to Mahini Devi. Om Shanti. Is everyone okay? Yes. Everyone well? <laughs> Avyakti Parivar and of course those who are in person here. This month's homework is becoming the image of solution. Very interesting that uh, there is something within us which makes us and you also get the title is image of solution. I know in Yagya in front of Dadis within the family for some they say oh she's always a problem anyway. So there even the name becomes problem sister or problem brother. Because every time they go or they meet, they have some complaint. Something or other, whether from others, whether for the self and... And even for God, the relationship sometimes with God is also like just going what we do in Baba's room. I remember that for me, I had this thought since I was Baba's young child that I am not going to say any words about anyone in front of God. Why should I? So whatever will happen, then try to resolve and be friendly, be loving, but I'm not going to complain. Because even if you do it, then, you know, with same person, other might not have any problem, right? So it's our karma, it's our sanskars, our ways. We have to resolve it, right? It's a very big family worldwide. So everyone thinks differently, everyone says differently, but it's all right, you know? So this internally, uh, we call it doing your own homework. Mm. You go in front of Daddy. Daddy, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. What do you think I should do? <laughs> Maybe I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't do this, right? Mm. And some, they analyze, they discuss, they internally think what is best choice for me. And we go in front of Dadi and we say, Dadi, this is it. So Dadi said, do you have any thoughts? I said, well, this is what I think, but I want your, your blessing. So Dadi always used to say, she does her homework and come to us. Because why should I use their energy, their thoughts on my situation? Yeah, we need blessings, definitely. But internally be very, very clear. Take help, take support, take strength, take blessings, all that is necessary and all that we should do. Because we have to go to the seniors. But it, there are two different ways or few different ways. 
so one is internally also create your personality where you always have solution in a practical way. So you are very constructive, you are very creative and, and in the family definitely such souls are very well respected too. Clear mind is very important. And if mind is clear, then you are clever, you are able to do also. But what today Baba is saying, as I mentioned, but it was in Hindi, that when souls went to speak to Brahma Baba, there were 300 Baba's children. Baba will say, make time with Mama. Because Mama will listen to everyone. And if someone is sharing about the weakness, she will never, never mention to that soul, oh, you are this, you are weak. Because that soul already saying, so, Mama will listen everything and believe in everything because whatever that soul is saying is true for that soul, right? Maybe other one will have other perspective, third one will have third. So then in the end, Mama will say, but you are so good. You do everything so well. You have these specialities. But pay attention to this. Instead of saying, don't do this, you shouldn't be like this. But that's what that problem that soul has. So what you helping with is to underline the problem or to help. So first internally, because of good wishes, spiritual love, Mama will praise that soul bring to attention the specialities of soul. And in the end, Mama will say, you could pay more attention to this. So soul understood that I need to be more careful about, you know, whatever the weakness was. So you're not repeating someone's weakness. Because that's also my karmic account then. Why, why I will speak of anyone's weakness? So one time Mama said, someone is ready to throw the weakness and it's garbage and you take it. Why are you taking it? And then you repeat it, show everyone, look, she's like this, this. No, we, we don't have to do that. So Mama had that speciality. Then was Dadi's. But what homework here is that we all, each one of us, could be like world mothers. When I came in Gyan, I was 15, 16, then 22, then I started going out. So young and then to go out alone, Didi say, you are world mother. Always remember you are world mother. So we grew with that personality, you are world mother. So mother has to take care. I never thought I am Kumari. I was never allowed to think. I am world mother. Unlimited mother. So the, the qualities which emerge with that awareness are very beautiful. And one of the first thing is of listening. Responding, reacting, commenting. These are ordinary ways, not spiritual ways. Spiritual ways are, it's not I cover the weakness of anyone. And it's not I'm supporting, but also how to help the soul to be powerful enough to overcome whatever could be the present 
experience or parent, state of mind. So by saying that world mothers, unlimited mothers, so quality of listening, tolerance, patience, someone called for something and I said something. So I realized later on that no, this was not the right way or so that person didn't mind it but immediately said you are too fast to say it in the sense you could have thought more about it. So sometimes instantly responding without reasoning without understanding properly could also be taken as it's not the right way. But when you think about it and then when you respond, then it's accepted and also it is right to. Because we are very quick, very quick sometimes. So many souls, we have to just hold on with them by saying, because she or he will immediately say or do without having a little bit contemplation, little bit of thinking. Because it's, it's smart, it's very smart to use our intellect, but we don't need to be smart. It's all right, be innocent, truthful, and the words which you say could be very encouraging for everyone. So, just as the Lokik mother, mother makes her children strong by giving them sustenance through which they are able to face any type of problems and always remain healthy and also prosperous. What do mothers or parents wish from the children? They remain healthy, free from obstacles. Their lives are more comfortable. And so what we like for each other, same way. Everyone on their journey remains free from obstacles. So Baba says that in the same way, you elevated souls should become the world mothers. What they, they call earth, huh? earth as mother. Because it sustains us, right? If there was no earth, there won't be any farming. There are no farming, we won't get anything, we won't be sustained. Even the cows and it, all those who sustain the lives of many is fed on from the earth, right? Grass and for all of us. So what the quality of mother, what the quality of mother is? to sustain. Unlimited mother, born mothers, the unlimited mothers, and make others so strong that they themselves become the destroyer of obstacles. full of power, healthy and wealthy. Any little situation come, take a phone call, you make a phone call. <coughs> but if I have to grow, let me learn from it, let me think about it. And then after I have resolved, solved, and then I could share my experience. So making everyone powerful, strong, 
And then, of course, we share with each other. So how many of you are ready to be world mothers? What about brothers? <laughs> because you are surprised how motherly brothers are. How motherly the brothers are. I always look at them because they mean because the image of not emotional, no tears, I have to be strong. And that's outer. Even as a single parent, whether it's brothers or mothers, father as single parent also. They take care of children very well. So let's think about it more. All of you have experience of your mother Loki from Brahma Baba, from Shiva Baba. Three mothers, right? And you yourself, some of you are mothers in Lokic way. So how you do to empower your children so that our blessings of they remain free from obstacles, healthy and also wealthy. So one is of course expecting from others, other is I have also to be like that. That's very important. So let's do our own work with churning, with practice and creating some experience. Om Shanti. <clears throat> Om Shanti. Welcome to Vekti Journey. Avyakti Parivar Chichat, conversations that open the heart and elevate the mind. So we welcome our dear brother, Angel, Eric Bhai, welcome. <laughs> Om Shanti everyone, greetings, motherly greetings. So I could have been called Eric Mata today, Bumi Ben. <laughs> Eric Angel, Eric Sakar, and today we're all becoming Mata mothers. So, Om Shanti, dearest Mwini Didi, nice to be in Peace Village with you all. Lovely gathering and nice to see the beautiful hall. <laughs> Om Shanti. So I was thinking we can continue a little bit in the, in the line of what you were sharing. And I was thinking, how do you... Uh, how do you think, you know, when people come to you with uh, sometimes a big problem or a big question, how do you find the solution uh, in terms of, you said earlier, you don't need always an intellect. And sometimes you feel you may be needing a bit of time to think about it. So how do you, how do you think that your answer or your response would be appropriate or kosher, how to say, um, checked with Baba as well, that Baba will approve that, uh, that solution you'll be giving. What's your method to do that? Mm -hmm. Baba has given us knowledge. Knowledge is understanding. And knowledge gives us all the tools. So first your response should be based on Baba's knowledge. What Baba says, how Baba explains, and then second, of course, comes from your own experience that, uh, but sometimes I don't know, it could be big or, we see it also very big. Or we make it also very big. But when you have right method from knowledge, and of course use yoga, a situation which had been there for a long time, maybe. Even that situation, 
when it resolves it takes a minute it just disappears because nothing is really forever i'm trying to think what situation could be a big situation okay maybe you have any idea you want to share <laughs> Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes the question that we're asked could be very personal. Mm -hmm. Let's say someone is asking a question, um, let's say a brother or a sister is in Gyan, the spouse or the husband is not, they're going through some situations at home and they're asking for advice. Well, I'm not living in a couple relationship, so... Mm -hmm. You know, I cannot share my experience. I'm in relationship with Baba, and he's very sweet, and he's um, he's in Gyan, so it's good. But um, is there a karmic account if I, you know, give a suggestion or an advice? It will be based on Gyan, of course. But if it's not the right direction that I'm giving, am I going to be having to pay some karmic debt somewhere <laughs> at the end? I know that whenever any couples went to Dadi, whether Dadi Didi or Dadi or Dadi Janki, so one mother went to Dadi Janki and said, you know, my husband says things in a way I'm very hurt. I am hurt about this. I am hurt about this. And Didi gave answer in one minute. Your heart is because of your attachment. So from now, look at that one as soul, love for the soul, but just be free from attachment, my husband, right? So this mother knew what, what it means. So she started practicing and Didi told her, after one week, you come to me. After one week, you come to me and tell me. So she went, she said, it doesn't hurt me anymore. He says, he says, but I'm not hurt. He does, he does, I'm not hurt. So answer was very good and it did work that because of your attachment, your expectation is that he will always talk lovingly, but sometimes it could be business tension, it could be nature, it could be anything, you know. So instead of being hurt, you should really kind of, you know, communicate in a nice way, not be hurt. So there are some single brothers or sisters here in USA, and they live the BK lifestyle, and they are alone. So their parents in India they say, oh, you have so much income, so much money, and you might give all to Brahma Kumari. So they created it, create a list. Send me this much because we don't have a house. <clears throat> so we want to build a house. So child thinks that they have spent so much money on my education, send me here. So let me send. Then after some time they write, but your sister also doesn't have house, so we need another house. So they keep going on. So this brother asked a very good question to Dadi, how much should I give? Dadi said, that I cannot tell how much you should give or not. But remember that their greed and your attachment, they are becoming like, greedy and because of your attachment you keep giving so you take care of your attachment and then you will be able to know is it their need or greed a very nice answer and that person because he also needs to buy a house there or save some money it's not he he gives everything to Brahma Kumari even yes Maybe he could donate. So there are answers where we just say that don't allow the vices to grow because that's where the karmic account begins. 
kindness sometimes could also receive lead to lot of lot of tragedies right mercy kindness very good qualities but someone did as a um, I, I i will take care of your child you don't have time and something happened to the child same day so police came and said you were the caretaker at that time she had to be in prison for one year only because she didn't had license so she didn't know how to she was single didn't know how to take care of children so i think that knowledge understanding so every virtue will always be used in a appropriate way even your virtue without knowledge without understanding can become a cause of suffering in your own life why a lot of good people always suffer because they are so attached to their goodness i did so good to this one i was so kind i always cooked for this one i always did this one but when i needed she didn't so there is lot of sorrow there but basically you did it i always tell everyone do it as much you can do it right because that's my duty the help i can give but you maybe some days sometimes we go out of and that's okay because that's part of human life you know to be happy to be kind and to be sharing with others but then regret about that later on or kind of feel sad about what you have done so somewhere is something is missing right so that is why they say that virtue and wisdom has to go together and that wisdom god is giving us right dadi jan ki always says for anything just be careful nobody is greedy because of your kindness many people must come to you and i know many come to you with so many different questions from which type of car to buy to how to deal with their own you know stage and emotional uh situation and they come to many of us also uh, do you what's the the line that you try to keep in answering so many problems or solution or finding solutions for people because do you remain a teacher a mother an advisor a counselor a coach <laughs> because people sometimes may want to to use you as a support so where do you situate where do you put yourself in line so you know you're really doing what you should be doing as baba's instrument <laughs> i know brahma baba said i have come to purify you so why you come to me and ask which business i should do i haven't come for that some days he will say that and some days he will also give advice what you should do so i think we have to look at person and uh, based on that you could be mother but never never do counseling because that's what we don't do because that's a kind of regular dependency and uh, for counseling because that's kind of job people others do but always have good wishes pure feelings and good advice when do you think that uh, when do you think that taking care of a new student becomes counseling where where's the the limit should i go there should i buy a house should i say at every step at every step but then you know bab on other side baba says take shrimat you know take a direction so people will do it but also 
you know, you start seeing that dependency. One is, I have to follow Srimad. Am I asking for blessing or am I asking for direction? It depends, like, you know, we start understanding and based on that, we involve ourselves, you know. It could be sometimes like a mother, sometimes like, but definitely never, never think you are the one who is going to do counseling. You know, sometimes when there were certain situations, I imagine we used to see the daddies sometimes on stage, you know, whispering to Baba certain things and having those private chit chats. <laughs> and we used to wonder, okay, what that is sorting out now? And I know sometimes for important issues, daddies will request Daddy Gulzar to get advice from Baba. And um, now, uh, most of the uh, situations that you must be answering in, you know, the big yagya, do you also have that practice? Do you have little secret chit chat with Baba from mm -hmm. Amrit Vela? I don't know when, do you have a special little routine that you can check with Baba certain things? Yeah, that is there, but also there are certain principles which you apply. <clears throat> One time, as soon as we were assigned Jainti and myself, at that time, there was quite a big situation, quite a big, I am not going to mention it, but so we, we thought listening could help. So we spent three, four hours on Zoom listening to everyone. Then we found it did help, but up to certain extent. And then I had to go there and I said, I went into the fundamental thing which I believe so when i came in gyan you no know, knowledge is always like some are happy some satisfied some not so there was a group of people who were not satisfied because of many reasons so they came to me and said we have formed this committee and we want you to the chair of committee so i said but why you came to me what made you come to me so they say because we thought you could help us but I didn't want it to associate with that. So I went to Brahma Baba and said, Baba, Baba knew about that group. He said, Baba, they came to me and they wanted me to be. But Baba said, you should have said yes. I said, no, Baba, I don't want to, you know, get into. And it was very good because it was not necessary. It was not part of the help I could have given them. And I didn't want it to waste my time. So I went to Madhuban and I called this group and they thought I will get it done, whatever their demands were. I said, look, demands is a separate thing. First, I don't believe that we should be forming the groups which are against the policies, talking about the policies, against, talking about, seniors and all that i said oh first i don't anyway i just kind of tell them that you know this is not right so they must have talked among themselves gradually it got dissolved it was there for quite a long time and their demands were quite quite big demands and uh, i said no that's not possible that's not what you are asking for is not practical. The yagya had been, so we keep to certain policies, certain principles, and our answers are based on that. Not only answers, but, but that's the solution we give them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of all the time we have to look into appropriate ways of finding the solutions, right? Well, we have a whole month to talk about this. You're intriguing us with these uh, uh, ways to uh, to deal with situations. And I think next time I'll be curious to know what Baba really is doing, you know, and how much is he doing and how we can know that our solutions are really coming from Baba and not just from our own thinking so maybe next time we can talk about that 
I want to honor the, the timing. So I know you're in Peace Village. Everyone is enjoying your presence, I'm sure. And there must be some other, everyone will come to you. I don't know, maybe no one will ask you any question after the session today. <laughs> so you won't have any problem to answer anymore. So not I, today. I am preparing myself in such a way, like when we went in front of Baba, we didn't have any question. So I want to prepare the stage. When people come in front of me, they forget the question. <laughs> they forget their situation. So I don't have to hear long, long stories. But one thing I find that anyone in Yajna, because of any reason is not settled. I, if they ask appointment, I always call them. I said, okay, talk to me. Maybe I could help you. And uh, so sometimes Bhumi said, why you give time to this soul? I said, but she needs that help, you know. So sometimes even those who have some difficulty, I always call them because I feel that maybe, you know, I could help them for some transformation or some solution. But I'm sure maybe you must have had the same experience that I had one of the first time I went to see you in Queens. And I remember I had a paper with me with there must have been 10 questions. And then you came, you sat in front of me and I said, yes, brother, you had some questions. <laughs> and I was reading my paper and every question I felt, no, I mean, this is not a question. This is not, I don't need to ask this. I don't need to ask that. And I was so uncomfortable. I didn't know what to ask anymore because I felt all my questions were not necessary anymore. So I think you already have that stage for a long, long time. And I think it, it saves you from a lot of unnecessary uh, questions from many. So it's already happening. Maybe you can just give a tolly as an answer. That would be uh, <laughs> the best solution is a tolly. The interesting thing is to get blessing. So I went um, to Dadi Prakash Mani. Generally, I never went for any, you know, just to ask for task is different, but anything personal. I, with knowledge yoga, looking at them, learning from their practical life and so one time I had something which I thought I need to share with her. So I was in Madhuban two months, but it never happened. So when I'm leaving, I said, Daddy, but we never got to talk. Daddy said, oh, you will never need. So I took it as a blessing. I said, yes, Daddy, that's what I want. Don't want to take your time. Let's talk about some nice things and why about any situation. So take blessings also that way, right? This is the Toli. It's a new kind of Toli. Very mm -hmm. interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> have that. Right? Is it the magic Toli of solution? You can <laughs> give the Toli to anyone who says the answer of your question is in the Toli. Enjoy. Om Shanti. <laughs> toli is a solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mani Didi, and yeah. greetings to everyone in Peace Village and in Avyakti Parivar. Om Shanti. <laughs> Om um, Shanti, tomorrow is, thank you Eric Bhai, thank you Didi, that was wonderful. I was thinking when you were talking about that, when Didi will have that stage, when nobody will have any question, then you might have to just come and just take drishti from her. <laughs> not to have any interview, right? <laughs> yeah, no more questions. <laughs> I will be out of job, I will be unemployed, retired, <laughs> I will retire. <laughs> All the questions, these are clarification about certain right. things. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. always <laughs> likes to get the questions asked because she feels it's the clarification which is happening. Thank you. You just extended my contract. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. And tomorrow is Sunday, so we're scheduled from Ritvila 3.30 a.m. to 4.45 a.m. 6 a.m. meditation will start, followed by Hindi Sakar Murli, followed by meditation, English Murli, Avek English Murli, followed by Bhog offering and Bhog message. 
uh, we are in peace village so we'll be connecting here and Moini Didi will be offering bhog in the morning so please do connect and in the evening 6 p.m meditation will start followed by spotlight drishti sharing in this series meditation english series and avakti journey so now let's do avakti murli's welcome to avakti journey avakti murli's from 1969 speaking to the heart of an angel Shanti. Avyak Murli, 4th of July 1971. Easy method of remembrance. You hear this in the Murli every day. There is no Murli in which there isn't this method. This is very easy. If you tell little children, to keep this image constantly in their consciousness, even they are able to do it. Although you put on a badge, you have actually charm and embodiment of remembrance in your intellect. All the different types of awareness are included in the awareness of this one picture. The essence of the entire knowledge is merged in this one picture. You have attained this through the knowledge of the Creator and the creation, have you not? The more you adopt these methods, the easier your effort will become. Do not become confused. What is remembrance? What should we remember? I don't know if this is remembrance or not. You purposely confuse yourself. What is remembrance? Whether remembrance of the Father is through his actions, or whether remembrance of the Father is through his virtues, it is still remembrance. Whether it is remembrance of his form, his name, his virtues, or his task, it is still the remembrance of one. You people make it very difficult. Whilst you say that remembrance is difficult, there is no force in that. Instead, you just remain in the course. Make that easy. What else is there apart from Bhava? Since you have considered the Father to be the one you love in every relationship in a practical way, do you have to think of a plan to remember him? Sometimes you make an easy thing difficult, and in other cases the path is still open, and the intellect therefore has to make effort again and again to bring itself back. You get tired in this, your head becomes heavy. You consider it to be difficult, and so give yourself a difficulty. So the easy method is first to close all these roads. Just as the government announces, it is to close something so you also have the order from Bab Dada that you must first close all other roads and you will then be liberated from all difficulties. Everything will become easy and it will then become natural. Is it difficult or easy to maintain this attention? It is not difficult but you make it difficult. If you continue to keep paying attention to this from time to time, you would not find it difficult. 
You have been careless, and you therefore now find it difficult. Whatever you are taught in your childhood easily stays in your awareness. The older you grow, the more difficult it becomes to bring something back into your awareness. Here too, those who have had the practice of paying attention to this from childhood have a natural chart of remembrance even today. Those who have been careless in paying attention to this from the beginning will now find it difficult. Now, let the past be the past and consider yourself to be a child in the company of the Father. By considering yourself to be this, you will be able to keep the life of your childhood in your awareness. The more you keep this in your awareness, the more help you will receive, and the difficult tasks will then become easy. From this moment onwards, do not allow yourself to be separated from the Father for even a second. Always think that you have the Father's company and that your hand is in the Father's hand. Oh, Shanti.
ओम शांति ओम शांति एवरीवन ओम शांति